Hi, my name is Cheryl Willis. I'm with eXp Realty and you're watching this video because you'd like to know more about this online bidding platform and what is it? And more specifically, my listing over at 22159 East Via Del Rancho. This is the next best thing for buyers under today's market. How frustrating is it for the buyer agents and for buyers alike? Look, we know it's frustrating for you. I myself sometimes represent buyers. And when I'm calling the listing agent and we ask for what's your current, how many offers do you have? What's your highest and best? And they just go, not telling. That doesn't help anyone, right? And all it does is make you drive around to more homes, writing more offers, and your buyers are just getting frustrated after losing home after home after home. Well, using this platform, it's completely transparent. They're going to know exactly what the current bid is, what it's going to take to win the deal. And if it if if they're in, they may proceed. If it gets too high for them, they don't have to move forward and you don't have to write an offer. So the winning bidder will write an offer within 24 hours of the end of the bid, which is going to be Tuesday, February 8th at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. You will already have the terms and conditions that are already spelled out online at our usahomebids.com link, which can also be found, which will also be found in MLS. You can at any time, first of all, you can see the home inspection, totally different than any other listing. You can see what the seller's terms and conditions are, and you can see what type of financing, you can see what the current bid is. Wow, what a concept, right? And again, at this point, your buyer can either just say, no, it's too thick, you know, too rich for me, or yep, I'm in. Here's the thing, it's just like eBay, right? If you were gonna buy, let's just say a pair of tennis shoes, and the tennis shoes were $100. And so you can even have an auto bid on this platform. And you're like, let's say the house was, listed at $200,000. Let's just pick round numbers, right? And they said, you know what? I'd be willing to pay 250 right now. Well, in a normal world, they would write an offer at 250 and they'd send it in. Well, a couple things. Number one, we will not accept an offer outside of this bidding platform. Number two, we will not accept an offer before the end of the offer period. Only the winning bidder will have the exclusive right to submit the offer with the seller's preferred terms and conditions and the financial documents needed to back up that price, which is the bid price plus 3% equals the purchase price. They have the exclusive opportunity to send that over to the seller. The seller is not going to be entertaining any other offers. It doesn't matter if you're a cash or a finance purchase. It's all about the price, the backing up of the numbers, and also the terms and conditions. The seller does have the right to accept, reject, or counter any offer they receive. So in the event the buyer doesn't produce the exact document needed, which again would be the bid price plus 3% equals the purchase price, your prequal and or proof of funds to make sure that you can back that price up and the terms and conditions that are set forth by the seller. If the buyer doesn't produce that, then the seller may or may not accept that offer. They may counter, they may reject it, and they may talk to another bidder, but only if the first bidder doesn't present the offer that they're looking for. Super easy, right? It's black and white. It's right up there online. Everyone can see it. The seller, buyer agent, and buyer, everyone can see exactly what's going on. No more, I don't know, I don't want to call it favoritism, but how many times as a buyer agent have you called a listing agent and they kind of mess around with, you know, how many they have, when they're going to accept, um, what the terms are. It is black and white. Everyone knows exactly what is needed to win this contract. All right. So again, we already talked about the bid plus buyer premium equals three plus three percent equals the purchase price. The home inspection is already on the USA Home Bids link. You will also find the terms and conditions that are set forth by the seller. The bidding period ends on Tuesday, February eighth at six p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and the there will be open houses daily Wednesday, February 2nd until Sunday, February 6th. You may also do private agent showings anytime before and after. Registration does end on Tuesday, February 8th at 4 p.m. So make sure you get yourself registered early. And registration is super, super easy. Let me walk you through that really quick. Number one, agents, if you'd like to get yourself registered and go ahead and ask for the listing agent permission, do not put your credit card in there. I don't own this platform. I don't like that part of it. No need to do that. 
and just click on the uh, listing agent uh, request, we'll reach out and give you a call. We'll ask you for your buyer's name and get the proof of funds and a few other questions asked. Once we get all that information for you, then have your buyer register. We really want to give the buyer as much control as possible. Here's the thing. Right now, and I have, again, clients too all the time, they think that, okay, I'm only going to go $10,000 over the list price or whatever it is, you know, the gap money of this or whatever. And they set a finite number. And when you set that finite number and then you have to put it in your offer and you send it in, you're literally like this. <laughs> like, did I get it? No. Ah, I mean, it's nice when listing agents tell you what you get, what, what they got, but that really doesn't help moving forward if the next listing agent doesn't tell us what the highest and best is. So again, all this information up front is super handy and everybody that uses it is like, why doesn't everyone do this, right? All right, so we'll have the, the, eight, the buyer, we want them to register so that in the event they, they know that they could put in an extra 10 or 15 or 20 or whatever it is. It might even just be $1,000 difference. All they need to do is click it. So we really want to give the power to the buyer as much as possible. And we also want to make sure that the buyer agent is comfortable understanding that we do represent, we do recognize um, and honor agency absolutely 100% of the time. We make sure that all buyers are represented. No one is allowed to um, be unrepresented and we do not double end any of our listings. So there's so many positives here. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and uh, to my co-listing agent and she will get right back to you with questions. Um, this particular home, again, three bedroom, um, Jack and Jill ba um, bath, large master bathroom. I love the cute little backyard with the fire pit, um, open, you know, um, areas. I love this big open kitchen. And I love the end of the cul-de-sac and I love villages at Quick Creek. I'm telling you, it's a great community. So if you have any questions, go back several times, go back with your agent, come to many open houses, bring your inspector, bring your family, bring your contractor, whatever you need to do. You have a full eight days from the day we go on the market to the day the offer period ends. It's eight days. It's none of this three-day thing with one hour open house. We want to encourage everyone to come back, ask questions. And if there's anything we can do for you, please let us know. Thank you so much. And again, if you have any other questions about this particular home or USA Home Bids, just reach out to us and we'll see you online soon. Thank you so much and make it a good one. Bye.